You should go in there. Oh, I have three additional armies right here, so you should definitely go up here and start supporting here. One army. Grab that province, please. While apparently it seems like you are still messing around up there. So grab both of these troops and go up and support my friend. This looks like the dev MP. <laughs> Actually, yeah, kind of. Except one difference. France is actually winning some battles. I think that's the main reason, main difference. And there a stack wipe. Go and grab that army. Disappear, please. Nice. And let's disappear right there. Pause. Cancel. And stack wipe. So we stack wipe four armies. Oh wait, there's one loss. Get back here. Whoa, you are so annoying, Franz. Please disappear. Disappear from the map. No. Uh, here's 90k. That's a bit too much. Let's reduce it. And you are now under my control. Tiny bit more. Sorry guys, I'm so focused on the game now. I just really need to finish off this war. And this was just gonna be the really quick war. <laughs> just to break them a tiny bit more. Let's see. Can I separate PC for anything? Apparently, you are really just not allowing me to take much. So I guess I will just have to break you completely. And then take whatever I want. Let's see here. Conquer Elas, sure. Because the next war is going to be against these people. Because they've been hiring out their armies as condutory to try and defeat me. And that we cannot accept. Uh, no, you're going right there. You're going right there. You troops are going back, apparently. You can't because I want to take that province. Okay, you can grab that one instead. You 70k go in there. You 30k go there. You 30k go there. Cool. Uh, good night, Spartan. Nice of you being here. And it seems like Iceland, are you doing anything against those troops? Uh, let's see, your army is still up here. Maybe you don't have it. Maybe you can't move yourself. Let's see. My fleet is still stationed right here. Yeah, you probably don't have enough ships because France have been intercepting you. Well, I can't really help you right now with it. Well, I actually can, but I can't be bothered. Sure, France can do whatever they want up there, but it's here the real battles are. <laughs> wait, wait. La Fascist Latvia have a... No, this is not a potato on it. They said fascist Latvia has an Austrian flag with a potato on it. What? Yeah, sure, we can actually do this. Actually, you can go straight over here. We can just send them over when, they're, when you're done with the French mainland. Ugh. Good evening, Lou Corn. How are you? Let's see, yeah. Go straight over. Why not? Let's see, uh, French armies are not any bothersome. Uh, Kiev wants to send a peace offer, but I don't want to accept it because France is still quite annoying. Let's see, what do I want? I kind of want this. Along with that province. But we need a tiny bit more. Or well, not actually a tiny bit more. We need quite a bit more. So I think I might actually accept this. Or actually we will look like this. That fort. That fort. Let's see. Are there any more annoying forts over here? London. No. 
That's a fort. Weren't there any more forts right here? Apparently not. But at least those forts. Let's see, were there any more kind of close forts? I don't think so. So these two and... Can we grab another province somewhere? Don't seem like it. I'm kind of happy with this. Just produce a couple forts for the next war. And then just grab a bunch of money. With a bunch of money I mean... 500 gold. <laughs> Well, France, if you if you go to war with me, you know this will happen. Why would anyone need navy transport? I don't know. Uh, let's fix this. Holland. Oh, right. Holland is mine now. So let's delete these forts. Because I don't want to afford them. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Horrible jokes. Okay, that sends that. Is it? Oh, wait, we have to actually take this too. You're mine. Thank you. And then we core the rest of it. And then, let's see. Yeah, we still have points, so let's grab one more ID right here. Let's find this and let's make Romanian and Slovakian culture. Part of my main culture. Oh god, we had one more here. Lithuania, you're no longer, but Moscovite, you're in my accepted culture now. Let's see, let's grab a couple more states. Only one, apparently. Because we're out of 90 of 90 now. Because we haven't taken this, and that will increase my number of states by 21, so let's take it. 500 gold is still a bunch of money. <laughs> Not really. <coughs> Not really at this time. Of the game. I will show you very soon what I mean. A half of this army split up and go there. Half of this army split up and go there. Half. No. Half go up there. This one half go there. And let's see. I didn't miss anyone. Alright, here's one. And you did actually nothing during this entire war. And you really need to move it from there, apparently. Go straight there. Let's see. Is anyone really mad at me? Let's just fix that. I want no revolts in my nation. And split this up and that one. Cool. And now you repair. Let's upgrade. Nothing to upgrade. Uh, Liberty Desire. Future. Oh, white. Uh, oh, oh, white. Wait. You need to improve relationship and you need a royal marriage. You will not accept because you're disloyal to me. That's a useless province you can give. Apparently, a bit more. No? Cool. Uh, what I was planning to do is then I have to do like this. Let's just. Fake it, rulers. Future Salzburg. Of course you want a royal marriage. I knew it. They just need to be... Persuaded a bit. Royal marriage. You improve relationship with him. Let's see. Anyone else mad at me? Uh, Iceland and Finland. Well, not mad at me, but... Not super happy at with me with either. So let's just improve relationship with every one of my friends now. While we recover some manpower and just relax a tiny bit. Um, let's see, what are your IDs? Let's see. My IDs are currently quantity, economic, quality, influence, offensive, admin, defensive and humanist. And yeah, we should probably go against Ottomans right now. Ottomans, as I suspected... Over here, this small, small province left would be taken by someone else. So I can just focus 100% on this now. Let's see. Um, do we have any revolts? I don't think we actually will. So let's just go straight for the Ottomans. We don't have to wait that much. And let's just put a couple of spare units over here. Two, two units. And the rest of you could just 
well, grab another line of troops to be even more supportive. <laughs> God, we have so many troops, so many stacks of units. Uh, I would also like to share one thing. Sharp knife on Latvian is as Nazi. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. And I think we will all go f away this day as a better person because we know it. Sharp knife as Nazi on Latvian. The more you know. Iceland or marriage, sure. Chance on you here. Here. That's bad. But it doesn't really matter. I think it will be fine. Uh, glory or diplomatic power? I think I want glory. What's up, Dan? It's all good for me. How about you, Doctor Strange? And there we got the air. Yeah. Low fertility, my ass. Oh, that might have been why he had low fertility. He liked the other part. Huh? 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 Come on, they're a really, really, really adult joke. I'm feeling such a, like such an adult doing jokes like that. Okay, Ottomans, it's time for you to go down. Let's just improve relationship a tiny bit more with Iceland and then we'll attack. Doing really good. Enjoy your Panzer Jeremy. Thank you, Do thank you, Dr. Strange. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. Uh, uh, Panzer Germany is finally doing what they should be doing. Hard Panzer, killing everyone. So, let's see, uh, yeah, more admin points, please. I just have a bit too much to do, but I finally decided today, Sunday, I'm finishing the EU4 campaign. And we'll have three more years to go, and then it will be finished. It took a very long time to actually finish this off, but soon we're done. And I need to sleep after that. I should have already... Be at bed now. <laughs> I work tomorrow. Hashtag blame you for. So, I think the, one of the last wars we will do will be against the Ottomans. Guys, Danny was the Burgundian inherent chains. It's hard to trigger it. An emperor? Wait, uh, I don't know. Actually, are you going to get enough sleep tonight? Yeah, I'm going to get well enough sleep. Like seven hours. Kind of. Uh, but if you have... Okay. Talking with someone else. Hmm. Is everyone allied with Castile? <laughs> it seems like whoever I attack, Castile is going to be in the war against me. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Declare war on the Ottomans. Oh right, my fleet is not even close in position. So you go in there, you go in there. Let's see, can we go over here? I don't think so, because your fleet... Oh, it's fine, apparently. So you are going right like this. Okay, you are going over right here. But how far can you go in? Okay, you can go f in quite a lot. I, want, I can have two more armies stationed right there, so two more armies stationed right there, and right there. And the rest of you, well, you're just waiting. Uh, let's just split you up behind here a tiny bit. Oh, you actually put soldiers now. Or fleets here, that's now blockading. Too bad. So let's pull back again. So they don't take way too much attrition in vain. Uh, where's my fleet? Soon there. Castile is at allied with the Ottomans. <laughs> what an heresy. Yeah, Tatan, you're completely correct. Everyone is just harassing right and left to destroy me. Actually, we've seen quite a lot of unholy alliances. Even I was allied with France once. Not anymore. As you probably can see by the... I don't know. Push in in French territory. 
the small pointing finger that are pushing slowly more and more into French lands. We're Burgundy. <laughs> okay, uh, improve relationship plus 30% or this one. I think I'll take revolutionary IDs. And level 32 in Diplo. Now we just need level 32 in Admin and I will be so happy. That we actually managed to finish off everything. While expanding this much and while having a great time actually. I really enjoyed this campaign. Just nothing nothing that really is bothering me. Just nice, clean, easy game. Is they still at war with France? I don't know if they're still at war with them. Yes, they are. And they actually push... Oh, wait. Portugal? Wait. Wait, what? What's going on? Occupied by Castile. You're at war with Portugal. Portugal... Wait, 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 wait. So... Castile is occupying French territory. Because France is defender against these people, which Portugal is allied with Castile and Portuguese Mexico. Oh god, that's a com complex and stupid war. Uh, Dihana, can't you cross the straits since you now control both sides? Um, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Of course. Thank you, Yana. I completely forgot about that. Yes, I can cross the space because now I control both sides. Completely forgot about it. So, just when the first troops arrived over, I should have realized that it would be fine. So, all of you guys, let's go in. And have, have a blast of a party in Ottoman territory. Okay, you still can't actually have a blast. Um, let's see. That's the best third Reich. <laughs> yeah, Panzer Reich, best Reich. Six heavy ships right here. Okay, let's join that fleet. Uh, you might actually get intercepted. No, cool. Let's break them. Oh, you're actually on in that island. Okay. Alright, but let's at least break here, because having a fleet there will actually help in that siege by quite a bit. So, only one more year. I, f I really want to finish this war before that happens. Okay, stack men in this... Okay, we have how many men stationed there now? We have 174,000 men, so 93,000 men are just gonna charge in, and we lost quite a bit, of, quite a bit of men. But we managed to take this at least. And you can continue on. And Shiran is once again attacking the Ottomans while we did it, defending the rights of nobility. Yeah, definitely. So, because that's the only way you play this game. Defend the rights of nobility, and they will give you lots of stuff. And let's do the same thing here. Stack a bunch of men. I should have really been using assault a bit. Tons, tons more. Because this is actually great. Just taking provinces really quickly. Uh, go right this, go right that. Assault! No mercy. So all I want is their capital. I want to finish the game with Constantinople. So, um, you guys get in there, you guys get in there, we need to take as many forts as possible, as quickly as possible, to be able to break this and actually succeed. Oh, that's not my siege anymore because I did stupid things. Ugh. More men for the army, no, I don't want to use my fleet. Cool, you can assault. Actually not succeeding, I lost way too much manpower. <laughs> continue continue the assault. Nice. Constantinople is mine. Yes. That too. Cool. Not that money. Grab it. Nice. <laughs> 
rushing. Oh god, I lost so much men by doing this. <laughs> Let's clean this up. I would have liked to clean these people up too, but I think we did quite well. <laughs> I was looking like this. Wait, we become Russia? Oh no! We were tricked. <laughs> oh god, this, this, this could have been horrible. We're Russia. No, Russia, of course. And France is no longer a rival. And this might actually become the best freaking ending ever. We just become strong enough for this ending. So we have no more rivals left. We have, let's see, how many? 739,000 men. Let's see, do we have the losses screen in? I, I really wish we had it. It doesn't seem like it, god damn it. Oh. Oh wait, army losses. Yes, we do. So, we, Ottomans is at 10 million, France is at 6.7 million, and I'm only at 6.1 million. We have an income of 468. Our armies are quite nice. 867 force limit, 222% discipline, and uh, yeah, we didn't, well, we basically did this without activating any really cool military policies, we played quite nicely, we got first place, finally, I was quite worried that we will actually not reach first place, but since we declared war on so many people that were actually over us time and time again and made us lose, just spiked our score completely and we are done we're done with the eu4 prussian monarchy campaign and i hope you all enjoyed this so before we end we had the largest army largest navy most provinces highest province value highest income and high highest trade income everything top of the line god that's nice and let's just check our timeline now so we started as brandenburg God, accidentally pressed. Now, speed up again. Oh god, we actually took a very long time before we expanded. We took Danzig and these two very quickly, otherwise it took quite a while. They reformed Prussia. I would like to see. Took Anhalt. God, we were actually quite slow. We took a couple points right here. Oh right, we went up here. Grab this. Nice. We took parts of Poland. Quite a tall run. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now we took a bunch of more stuff from Poland. We just started eating a lot. Oh, we made Kurland very big, a big Prussia. And look at. Oh, wait. We integrated them and took the Thunder Cross appeared. <laughs> then they disappeared and became the Thunder Empire. We took here, we took here. Kiev. We went into France, we took care, and we are done. Oh! Albania is left. Oh right, they appeared because they increased provinces. <laughs> okay, cool. <sighs> uh, what place is Thunder Empire, if that's available to play? What place is Thunder Empire? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, oh, Thunder Empire, you mean on the score. I think it should be possible. Let's sort by... Perfect timing. Uh, the Thunder Empire. Score 21. <laughs> so unfortunately not very very good. Oh wait! Because they're split up. We have the Thunder Empire and the Thunder Cross as two different nations. <laughs> unfortunately. So, everyone, thank you for joining me in this, let's see, in this four hour stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, enjoyed this campaign. Um, I'll probably link somewhere up here to my other EO4 campaign, which I did. That was the first stream I actually did. It was with Salzburg. Quite interesting. We tried to take all the salt in the entire world. And yeah, that will be linked somewhere here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and campaign and everything like that. Um, I'm going to sleep. So um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe and do that all that nice stuff. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. And bye.